So I've just walked indoors, rewind the film back. <laughs> it's like Evil Knievel, do you remember the Evil Knievel toys? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be shooting a roll of Ilford HP5 120 and developing it in Ilford's Ilfotech HC developer. I'll take you to a little waterfall, a little stream. I photograph this stream, or I think in the winter time on large format with a bit of long exposure. Let's see what we can get today. It's all gone. Who's taking all the water? Uh, well, there's a stream, but it ain't working. So I haven't had this developer for that long, and it's the first time that I've ever tried this developer out. However, my last couple of rolls have proven that I've been doing something wrong, and I was scratching my canister thinking, what's going on? Why is my negatives looking so dense? So I decided to jump onto the Ilford's website, have a look at the data sheet for this developer, and have a little swat up, have a little read of what <laughs> to, how to use this stuff. And I found the answer. Thank you, Ilford. So I've come out today just for a little walk. I'm not too far from where I live. I've walked about 10 or 15 minutes into this massive field. And there's more fields over there that I'm gonna venture in uh, just to take some photographs. Got a little bit of time on my hands this afternoon. So I thought I'd bring out the Yashica Mat 124G 6x6 medium format camera. F11 250th of a second it's coming out at. So 250th will kind of stop any of that wind blowing them slightly so I get less motion blur. And don't forget guys, all I'm doing is just trying out this HP5 against that developer. That's why I've come out to take pictures, but I still want to go back with some nice shots, you know? So this developer is all new to me and a massive thanks goes out to my mate Crimson Obscura on Instagram for sending me this because he wanted me to try it out. He loves it and he went, Rog, he said, I'll send you a bottle of this stuff, you've got to try it. I said, okay, let us have a go, you mad sod, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Well, oh, I just stopped these, uh, I don't know what they are, long grassy stuff. It's quite nice to get a shot. So what is this developer? Some people say it's Ilford's answer to Kodak HC110, which I know a lot of people love. And myself, I've never used Kodak HC110 or this stuff. And Ilford say that this developer is versatile and economical for all kinds of black and white film. Except, like I said, my negatives on my first few tries looked a little bit dense, especially the leader, which is what I always look at when I'm looking, if I've got a problem with my development, I always look at the leader. That gives me a lot of answers to my development process. What? You was in the development too long? Why didn't you tell me before? Now, all my good negatives have got a slightly transparent leader, and that's a good indication to me that the development process went well. From there on, it's me shooting, overexposing or underexposing. If my developer is too weak or my times are too short, my leader is gonna be pretty much transparent or like a pair of sunglasses, you know? You can see, as soon as you hold it up, you can see everything through it like a pair of sunglasses. If my developer is too strong or my times were too long, then the, then the leader, and especially the negatives as well, is gonna be very dense. So where did my first few rolls using this stuff go wrong for me? Well, I followed the massive dev chart like I normally do with any new developer or film, and it gave me a recommended time and a recommended dilution, which was at one part to 31. I followed that and that particular film came out dense. But why did it come out dense? Why was the massive dev chart giving me information that was making my negatives dense? Well, for that reason, I had to go onto Ilford's uh, data sheet for this developer and find out what was going on. This is quite a nice little row of trees and the sunlight's kind of giving it that mottled look across the trees. See if I can get a shot there. I've come down to 160th of a second now. Same again, F11. I could do the spot meter actually, but I might have to come down to F8. Come down a bit more, get those grass in. Oh, that's nicer. And what I did was I was taking one part to 31 straight out of the bottle and putting it into water and then mixing it and then developing the film that way. Ilford suggests or Ilford say that this stuff really should be uh, mixed as a stock solution. So this one litre bottle will make four litres of a stock solution. So use three litres of water, pour in the uh, whole bottle to make four litres and then you bottle that in airtight bottles and you use it um, using Ilford's conversion chart 
for the times that you lead for the times that are on the massive dev chart. So if it's one part of the 31, you go onto Ilford's website on the data sheet and it will tell you in this case, one part to 31 is one part to seven using your stock solution. That was where I was going wrong. I was over, I was putting too much uh, developer into my, into my film for development. Both of the ratios work out pretty much the same, except if you're going one part of 31 straight out of the bottle, that means you need 18.75 millilitres. It's more of a margin for error if you're gonna be using that small amount, whereas I was using 75 millilitres, nice and simple. So maybe what I did was put a mil or two too much than I should have done. Oh, bummer, the stream's dried up. There's no water left. It's all gone. Who's taking all the water? Uh, well, there's a stream, but it ain't working. So I've got half the stream in sunlight, the other half is in shade, and I've got no spot meter. I'm, I'm shooting all different kind of, you know, I'm not going to be pulling the film or anything like that, so... I was going to take this shot, show you guys how it comes out, and I know that that side is going to be dark. Done. I think this is a some sort of an ow stinging nettles, some sort of uh, electricity pylon. Let's get a shot of that. I don't know how it will look. As boring as this scene looks, the dead tree. This two track white path going along. Be a bit naff if I just stood there like, I'm gonna get down and try and get real low down and see what happens there. A bit of a different composition. It might make it more interesting. I just found this lovely little fern bush here. Look at this, the sunlight's hitting it beautifully. It's not overly, it's just nice. 250th F8. Done. So I'm really struggling with compositions. There's not, there's not, not nothing really that's floating my boat. So I'm just trying to get compositions because they're there, you know? Like this fence that's arcing around. I've got this post here, all blurred out in the foreground. And I focused on the next post. Just a little bit of path, done. So going back to what I was saying about how I like to keep leaders of my films, uh, especially if I'm trying out new films and new developer combos, for 120 you can't do that. It's all done in the dark when you load the film. There's, it doesn't get exposed to light at all until you start firing the button on the camera, you know. But uh, in this particular case, I used the 12th frame and exposed it to light to daylight in bold mode just so I could get um, a, a, a leader effect, if you like, where it's exposed to light the last frame and I could then have a look at that and evaluate uh, my development process by looking at that leader. Open the aperture wide open. Just point it up at the sky. It's in bold mode, keep it there. And that's my totally overexposed frame. So I can put that in my development, uh, in my folder, sorry, as a reference for the development. So I finally finished the roll of HP5, got back. My daughter was in the kitchen where I normally do my development, doing a TikTok, so I was banished to the bathroom. Uh, so I grabbed my stock. I've got two of these, but these are two litre bottles. My stock of the HC is now in uh, one or two of these. Here's one here, and I've got another one as well. So using my stock solution at one part to 31, if you like, I went onto the uh, conversion chart that Ilford give, and one part to 31, it says one part to seven. So that was pretty simple. I've got 600 millilitres of water, and um, I need to mix that one part to seven, which works out uh, 525 millilitres of water and only 75 millilitres of this HC stock that I've made. You can see this stuff was gonna last many, many rolls of film. And here's the negatives here on the light box. You can see they look fine. A couple of overexposed ones, but hey ho. But more, more so over is the leader. I can look at the leader and I can see slightly through the leader. So that makes me, it tells me that my development process wasn't overdeveloped like the first time that I used Ilfa's uh, Ilfa Tech HC. Now, to be honest, well, I can't really give a solid review of this developer at all until I've got further down the line with different films or maybe a whole bunch of HP5 to see how it compares with other developers. But the chances of me doing that, I'm not really going to go down that road. I'm just going to use this developer uh, 
for the next few rolls of HP5 with different times and see how I get on. From these negatives, I can see the grain is pretty fine for HP5, not my first choice for going out and shooting landscapes, but I was pretty pleased to see the grain in the sky was pretty fine. It is there, um, but it's not ugly uh, like it would be if I dumped it in Rodnall, for example. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And also there's a tonal range as well. HP5 is a good film and that uh, developer certainly complemented that film well. And you might think to yourself, blimey, 30 pounds or 60 dollars or whatever, it's quite expensive for a film developer. But don't forget that you're going to be mixing that and making it four litres out of that one litre stock. So I only use 75 millilitres for my 120 film. So what's that? 50 rolls of 120 film, give or take. Maybe 100 rolls of 35 mil, give or take. Um, so it ain't too bad, it balances itself out. And I suppose you can get even more films out of it if you further dilute the developer, meaning longer development times, but um, I'm happy with what I've got at the moment. And I must admit, Ilford, Ilfotech HC isn't a developer that I've ever really looked into, um, but as it was sent to me, it's worth you know, giving it a try and seeing how you get on. And you know, the same as Kodak HC 110, I've never got into that. I've got my own preferred developers for the films that I shoot and for the situations that I shoot in and they complement each other in their own way. So you think, well, why would I want to change developers? But there's no harm in giving something else a go, especially as my mate sent it to me to try out. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go forward with a few more uh, rolls of HP5, trying out different developments, um, just a bit of fun time, and see how that holds up. When that bottle's gone, who knows? I might even get another bottle. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, um, look on the Ilford website data sheet for this stuff about mixing it if you do have it if you are taking it straight out of the bottle and sticking it into your your development the chances are is that you're over developing unless you're doing that purposely and adjusting your times but um, have a look at the data sheet on Ilford and if you do use this developer let me know how you dilute it and, and how it works for you I'd love to know in the comments I'm sure everyone else would as well so anyway guys thanks very much for watching the video cheers Crimson for sending me that uh, developer. I'm going to have fun with that over the coming weeks. I'll catch you next time.